Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 15th of 2022. Well, it is titled Terminator Moon. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of our own moon. And what we see is uh, the entire surface. So it would look like a full moon. Although in reality, this is actually an image taken by a number of different pictures uh, from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and put together. So we never actually quite see the moon like this, even under a full moon. In that case, we would see the sun beating straight down on it and the areas in the center would show no shadows. And here we see distinct shadows there. So we're looking along the terminator. The terminator is the dividing line between day and night on the moon. So that will be where the shadows are the most distinct. And we're used to that here on Earth. We know that at noontime shadows are at their shortest. We see very little. But at sunrise or sunset, we see very long shadows. So early or late in the day, we can get much more relief and details when we look at a surface like this. So putting together an image like this from multiple images gives us sort of a better feel for what the moon actually looks like. Now when we look at it we see two different areas distinct areas there. There are some smooth areas scattered around which are called the Maria. Those are flatter areas with fewer craters in them. The number of craters that we see tells us something about the age of the moon's surface in those locations. The more craters we see the longer that surface has been exposed to space and had time to build up craters. And in fact towards the bottom there we see craters on top of craters and very densely packed and that is a very old surface we call the highlands. Within the Maria we see some regions regions with a few craters and some with hardly any craters. And that's because the Maria are relatively recent. Now on the moon relatively recent means that the highland areas are probably four to four and a half billion years old. And the Maria probably about three to three and a half billion years old, where large areas were flooded by lava from the interior. And in fact, you can see some areas if you look around the edge of the Maria, you can see where some craters were partially destroyed towards the edge there, especially up at the very top of the image. There's one where one whole side of the crater has been eaten away. Some of the other craters within the Maria have been filled by lava. And again, that tells us something about their age. We can tell that by how many craters there are, but also by how sharp and fresh the craters look. The sharper and fresher ones are relatively young. And in fact, some of them like that to the far left have rays going out from them. And those rays are very young in that they had to have formed relatively recently as they will wear down over millions of years through tiny impacts on the moon. So when we see those rays, we are looking at some of the very youngest features on the moon, and not that they formed yesterday or even a 100 or a 1000 years ago, because erosion on the moon is not like erosion on Earth. It is a very, very slow process. What might happen on Earth in a few years can take millions and millions of years on the moon. But here we get to see a complete image of the near side of the moon, the side facing Earth, as taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. So features that we see are roughly the same. But because we have multiple images stitched together, we get to see a lot more detail than we would in just a single image of the full moon. So that was our picture of the day for February 15th of 2022. It was titled Terminator Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Eroding Sun Tower. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.